Oh, the force has awoken, but this emperor's new groove is striking back. Spacebar. The Force Awakens is a global phenomenon. I can't deny that. Chubby 10 year olds the world over have traded in their tight fitting minions gear for BB 8 swag. Well, I ain't buying. I got a bone to pick with the Disney company and their junk food approach to cinema, but first, joining me, he's the voice of Benjamin J. Pinball. He's a writer, producer, and all around psychopathic funny guy. It's Phil Arrigo, resident of Barfly. I was told this was a Spaceballs panel, and cool. I'm not prepared. <laughs> Thanks. She's a Star Wars apologist, I mean super fan. She loves all things Disney, I hate her. Mika Midget, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks. Ricky Hayberg gives you your daily dose of fandom on Machine Machinima's ETC every day with his cohort, Elliot Dewberry. Thanks for being here, Dickard. Hey, Come thanks, you, Dick. Dick. You really started this off on a sour note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna need a drink to loosen up for this throttling. Flash the drink card. It's the force myself upon you, even if you don't want it. What was your reaction to The Force Awakens? I think we know where I stand. Ricardo. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a great movie. Uh, I thought that the, the, there were some fair critiques of it. But what do you think about it? What do I think about it? Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just doing laps right now in my mind. Nice. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think that there are some fair critiques out there. Uh, you know, maybe it mirrored the original... A bit, but I thought it was a. a, 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 a I thought a it was bit. a very nice movie. I was very happy. Oh, it's with not a it. Death Star. It's a Death Planet. Got yes. it. Yeah. It's bigger than a. Mm -hmm. than, well, that doesn't make any sense because stars are bigger than planets. I, you talked about it like it, you were its mom. You're like it's a, it's a, it's a very nice movie. Yeah. I love it. And Harrison Ford's like, it's got good production values. Yeah. It's like uh, the mom. Well it's like the mom from Making the Murderer. It's yeah. like he's a good boy. I <laughs> swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> everyone knows Stephen Avery's innocent. Wait, he hashtag is. Brandon Dossie, hashtag one love Brandon Dossie. Yeah. I side with the government, that's why I have the Sith cup. <laughs> oh, I'm a Sith Lord too. Mm -hmm. Mika, what about you? I loved it. Oh. Uh, I had eh. I had the the problems with it that everyone else had, but if it a movie entertains me, I can forgive them. So I liked it a lot. Okay. Sounds like we're all apologizing for it unnecessarily. No, in a weird like, way. Like, it's it's, it's weird. great. But Let me tell you about Kevin. Like, he hit me once. Okay, big deal. But he was sweet. <laughs> yeah. And he came to Christmas, all right? He brought shrimp. <laughs> Phil, what about... I dug it, but there are definitely no. <laughs> there are definitely issues, but you know, like so much. Like, uh, look, I went in, I saw an IMAX laser you 3D sounded IMAX. Like a really bad Undertaker. I dug it, but the casket but, was missing. Yeah, yeah it I was, dug the. <laughs> I got in, in the way. Like it was, it was a fun movie. It yeah. was a good movie. I think it's the movie it needed to be mm -hmm. because yeah. it had to. Look, you don't buy a fucking movie for four, a franchise for four billion dollars and go, "We're going to make this one for the one percent of." No, you fucking make it for the whole world. Mm -hmm. It's why it was so calculated. But sometimes it was too calculated. Oh, it was too. I felt like I was watching an amusement ride, made a Burger King commercial, and a music video. It was like the that, fucking that, worst thing I've ever. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm being unfair. It's well made. Yes. The movie is yes. well made. Mm -hmm. The sound design is the best sound design I've heard in a long time. It was amazing sound design, mm -hmm. right? But come on, man. They re recycled and rehashed so much shit from the original. It was like, right? This is what I think is my theory. Fan theory. The Star Wars trilogy was also released in the Star Wars universe, so everyone saw the movies. <laughs> and that's why they were like, it's true. And then the corpse of the decaying, <laughs> rotted robot Han Solo yeah. was like, all I'm in is true. <laughs> I don't know. It was... To me, it's a, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's yeah. a big budget movie. It's uh, the 3D was amazing. All that all that stuff. It did exactly what it needed it, to do. Exactly. And it reintroduced or it reintroduced. It introduced Star Wars to a whole new generation and brought back the things that people that saw it when it was originally released loved about the original. Yeah. I don't think it did though. I think it just it just rehashed it and was like, "You love this, right? Here you go again. You not, get another version." Not not just that though. I I think it's a I would say a significant portion of the audience, 10 and under, 12 and under, maybe didn't see the first movie. Yeah, so this is think? all fucking new. It's a new generation. I mean, when did the original Star Wars, when did A New Hope come out? 77? 77. Something like that. So you're looking yeah. at... Uh, first of all, it was just called Star Wars. All okay. Right. Kids. No, it's called... It, the official title yeah, is yeah. The Original Star Wars, colon, A New Hope, episode, <laughs> what is it, four? The Scourge of yeah. Nick Gregorio, I think. Yes. That's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, an, it's yeah. like a postscript. Yeah. Yeah. Did you even enjoy the first? Yes. Okay. The, okay, that's fine then. That's why you're so angry? He I, love, like okay, talk, I love the original yes, yes, trilogy. I did, I did very much. I've, I've talked about it on the show before. Have the same formula, though. Yeah. No. 
Yeah. Okay. First of all, one was a trendsetter. Yeah. All the tropes that we kind of flagged the originals for were like, what about this? It's because they invented that shit. They brought it. Well, maybe George yeah. Lucas kind of picked up a lot of his filmmaking. Okay. I mean, yes, he borrowed. Directors. Yeah. He borrowed, but. That that sci-fi epic that he created. Why you like nothing? It's just so funny because I'm gonna get angry. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. You know it's sort of like happen. I got a migraine coming. I'm like I got an angry Nick Gregorio coming. I'm like I can <laughs> sense it in the air. <laughs> I'll give you a little history on me. All right, I was in the Star Wars before you could buy VHS tapes of Star Wars because they hadn't made them for like twenty odd years. Mm-hmm. My so- cousin Kenny. Bootlegged them for is what me. He's saying is Kenny also a pinball machine? I heard about Star Wars before. <laughs> <laughs> Today on Ganging Up on Nick, <laughs> we got the panel. All right, well, you've offended us all. No, keep, right. keep going. You, okay. could, you couldn't buy the tapes. Yeah. I couldn't buy the tapes. So my cousin Kenny bootlegged them off of the only copies he had on Laserdisc, mm-hmm. and then he made a collage from Star Wars magazine Wait, for Laser each Disc one. Wait, Laserdisc existed before VHS tapes? Yeah, dog. The ones that you, like could buy, the one really? you could buy, probably. The ones you could buy, yeah. Actual right. purchase. Yeah. yeah, it was in the same vein. Okay. Uh, I mean, you are old. No. I'm, not, I'm not... Okay, I'm not that old, but I'm kind of old. <laughs> yeah. But I was a weirdo. I was a little weird kid that liked Star Wars when it wasn't even relevant. And I watched these movies ad nauseum. And I prepped myself. And then they were like, the re-releases are coming out. And I'm like, this is dope. And then the toys came out. So leading up to episode one, which I, I kind of hold responsible as for ruining everything in life for me. So I can't anticipate anything anymore. Mm-hmm. Then when I go into The Force Awakens thinking, here we go. We're going to do it right. And what do I get? Fucking rehashed, recycled bullshit with bad acting and... What would you have wanted to see? Yeah, give us your your perfect Star Wars movie. And how many humans out there haven't relived their parents' footsteps and gone into the same careers and done almost the exact same thing? It's It's realistic, damn it. Like Dennis Rodman's my dad, and I'm going to be just like Dennis Rodman's son. It's like if the first trilogy was an alcoholic father, and then this trilogy... Has to, it's, it it's, runs hereditary. <laughs> it's hereditary. It's <laughs> hereditary. Except it has a better job. Yeah. It drives a slightly nicer car. Yeah. No, um, okay, I'll, I'll, get, I'll go back to The Force Awakens. What I, don't, what I didn't like about it, the direction. I think J.J. Abrams is a hack. All he does is fucking, he's a TV director. He shot every scene from 18 angles and just cut it together. It was nothing but moving cameras going from left to right and booming and dialing. That opening scene, you're going to tell me that felt like Star Wars. That felt like a sci-fi action-adventure TV show. I liked when he stopped the, the, the energy thing. I like when he stopped the energy thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was my favorite part in the whole scene. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, so we all agree that the opening that scene was great. Cool. No, the that was it. We agree on 1% of <laughs> yeah. the movie and the rest ah, oh, well, yeah. it's all fighting. I mean, but the issue is, is when you look, when you, you talk You guys about, don't even seem to, look, to like it that much. It I'm opens up on BB-8. Hmm? It opens up on BB-8. Yeah. That's so cute. Okay? How's BB-8 sounding? I'm like, wee beep beep boop He gives the thumbs up. How do you not love the thumbs up? <laughs> Everything's great. Everything in the movie is great. You, you just got memed. It's all good. You just good. memed yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but when you really think about it, and I, I hate to take it back, when I, did you enjoy the movie? I'm like, it was a great business decision. If you were, <laughs> if you were gonna take a movie and spend a lot of, for billions of dollars in this, on this franchise, and then create it and go, we need to build in a new audience of this because that's what you do now. Mm-hmm. That's right. what you have to do to create this thing if you're spending that much money. That's been one of my biggest criticisms. It's when you make these properties, you take them and you have to make them for a new audience. They cost so much. There's so much at stake. You can't take risks. They can't do what the original filmmakers did. Why would you want to take a risk? Right. Oh, because that's what cinema is. That's <laughs> what art is. But this that's isn't, what this makes isn't, it interesting. This isn't art. This is a business decision. Harrison Ford gave the worst performance of his career. He was He's awful. like 80 years, years old. old. dude. You're doing his pointing right now, Nick. Yeah. You're Jeez, curmudgeon old, old Harrison fucking, Ford right now. The Millennium Falcon fell on his leg during production. Then he crashed a fucking plane. How do you think he's going to yeah. do in this movie? He's old. All right, can we talk about Carrie Fisher then? Yeah. She was awful. Oh, she looks great. She's great. There was a, no. She's they been through took, a lot, Nick. They took a Terminator T-100 robot and pulled flesh over it and spray painted it <laughs> Carrie Fisher. It was so bad. She You're is telling a me, oh, no, a drug addict who recovered. <laughs> she has bipolar disorder. <laughs> yeah. I work with her. She's a saint. <laughs> She's a man. Oh, oh, my what is going on? The no woman did side with me? <laughs> the woman did you so, so, much, there's there's so much cocaine in the 80s that Jim Belushi <laughs> told her to calm down. And she's still alive. That she should get an Oscar just for that. Okay. Right. When Belushi for being able to, to read lines. Yeah, Belushi died. Belushi's from like, it. yeah. 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 What up, YouTube? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you disliking this video? Would you like to see the rest of it? Probably not, but Phil, tell them where they can do that at. You can check out full episodes on the Machinima channel on Sony PlayStation View. Come grab a drink with us here at the Space Bar.